In today's lesson, we're going to talk about uh, single phase uh, bridge rectifiers. Um, this right here is a single phase bridge rectifier because you have, on this particular one, you have four diodes in this uh, package. And uh, see on the back, I wrote good. Um, this is one I had in my <coughs> toolbox, uh, a spare one, so always keep one of these just in case because most of the ones uh, on the door controllers. Uh, they like to go bad sometimes, not all the time, but uh, those are pretty good. These things are pretty good as uh, as far as rectifiers goes, um, and they're the most common now use nowadays. Um, but on this particular one, like I said, you have four diodes, and it's in a bridge configuration. Uh, these two prongs right here, that one and that one, is my AC um, incoming AC lines where they're supposed to go to. And on these two, that one and this one, is my DC out. So I got AC in, DC out. And uh, these things are rated uh, for current. Um, and when also you're replacing one, if it does go bad, uh, more than likely it will uh, short out. The diodes will short, and it will uh, usually cause a fuse to blow. Um, but the main thing on these, you want to look for the peak inverse voltage, or most of the time, you just look at the number and replace it with that part, the same number. But uh, on these, they have a um, called a PIV, which is a peak inverse voltage, and um, it actually stands for um, the AC coming into the uh, uh, diodes. It's basically how much AC the uh, reverse voltage uh, the diodes can actually stand uh, withstand. So. Um, these uh, basically replace the selenium plate rectifiers uh, that were used many years ago, about 40 years ago, um, and those are really hard to come by. So, um, but most of the ones, some, some of the stuff I deal with, uh, we got a couple of the ones that have the selenium plate, so, um, but these are pretty much taken over. Everyone uses these. These are used for door operators. I mean, they're used for, um, DC buses for um, your power for your control circuits and everything, but yeah, these are uh, these are one of a kind. And um, in a later in a later video, I'm actually going to show you how to uh, test one of these rectifiers to see if a uh, diode is shorted inside um, this package. So one more time, you got AC in, AC in. And usually they'll have like a little marking right there. It'll say AC, but you can't hardly see it, so I just put it with a uh, Sharpie. Um, but it's AC in, DC out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.